1997, Congress passed the Taxpayers Relief Act, which was signed by President Bill Clinton. And what this allowed is that individuals on their primary residence, if you had lived in the home for two out of the last five years, you would have an exclusion of $250,000, and then you could move to a new residence. Now, if you're a couple, you would have a $500,000 exclusion. And of course, this needs to be your primary residence, your main residence. In Congress, you have individuals who are in Washington, D.C., but their home state may be California or Arizona or wherever. And so they would be living as their primary residence most of the time in Washington, D.C., while their spouse may be living in another state. So if you're a couple, you can have two primary residences for tax purposes. There's something called the 14 free days of income rule. And what this means, if you have a vacation home and you rent it for less than 15 days a year, it means you don't have to report the income, that rental income on your tax returns. It's important to get an experienced tax preparer, especially if you have a lot of real estate or rental properties. The tax code in the US is 3,000 pages long. And there's an additional 42,000 pages of rules, regulations, and court decisions. Money Magazine does an experiment every single year. And what they do is they choose 50 tax preparers. And they ask these individuals to prepare the taxes for a hypothetical family. And the results are vastly different. Some of them spend up to 70 hours on the return. And they charge between $450 and $2,500, and the accuracy did not correlate with the amount charged. But it just shows the importance of choosing your tax preparer wisely because it can save you a lot of money in the long run, especially when you have a lot of real estate. Always seek tax advice from a tax professional and legal advice from an attorney.